So you want to complete an assignment. That is, you want to convert a resource into an asset. Remember, resources were those items that were, you know, remember the hollow circles. Basically, they are the templates, the frameworks, the structures, the designs that you might create for a student to complete. So what, really what's going to happen, there are two ways to navigate there. The easiest, easiest way is to just click on resources right here, or you can go up here and go to your resource store. They both lead to the same place. Resource store. Oops, where did it go? Here it is. And notice in the previous video, we made this feedback template. And this is, oh yeah, notice. And remember, all the, all the templates, the resources, they're the hollow circles, whereas the assets are the solid squares, right? So they're the thing. The assets are the things that you can add to a portfolio. The resources are just things that are kind of like the, the, the structure of things, the framework, the scaffolding. All right, so I'm going to go to choose what I created last time, feedback template. Click on it. Notice I can create a response to the feedback template. That will, that will generate an asset that I can then add to my portfolio. So here we go, I'm gonna create a response. And I'll, I will save it as, so provide a title for this. This is my response. My, well, let's put it this way, my feedback. All right, choose a radio question, maybe I choose a uh, next choice. And options, let's see, of the options, I'll choose option two. Evidence, uh, what if I add some evidence uh, I'll add something like, say, an asset from before, since I have to. Okay, there we go. I'll add that asset. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to worry about a justification. Anyway, because the feedback form that I had set up earlier, the template that I had made, calls for evidence being submitted. There we go. And now I will save it. All right, and... Now, when I go to assets, I'm going to go back here and go to assets. Well, remember, there are two ways to get here. I can go to store and assets right here, or I can click on the burger and go to asset store, right? I'm just going to go this way. And here it is. This is my feedback. Notice it used to be a hollow circle with an F in it, but now, uh, and the hollow circle with the F in it still exists. That resource is still there. But now I've taken it and I've added a response to it, and it has become an asset, right? This is my feedback. Okay, now what I could do with that, I can add it to a portfolio. So I'm gonna see if I can go to my portfolios. Let's see, and my portfolios will be a type of asset. Uh, let's see, I already, let's go to my assets. And let's see, do I have any portfolios that I already made? There we go. Here's a portfolio I had made before. This is a happy portfolio. And here, let's see if I can add, uh, oops, here we go, add to this. Let me add an existing asset here, down here, and I can do that. Here it is. This is my feedback. I'm going to add that to this portfolio. Et voila. Beautiful. So that is how to go from taking a resource and uh, adding a, and completing it, uh, filling it out, creating a um, an expression of that to fill it, uh, completing, and then it becomes an asset, and then I can add that asset to a portfolio. I can also share that asset with uh, somebody else, another student, a faculty member, and so forth. All right, so I hope this has been very instructive in uh, as, as a way of introducing you to the idea of creating assets by using a template, i.e. a resource. Thanks very much for watching. Have fun playing.